all right so in this brief video i would like to uh, inform what are the two things uh, not two i think three things you should do immediately after coming to ireland as a phd student or as a postdoc student postdoctoral researcher or even if you come for a would uh, for a work with an work permit so these are the three things you should do immediately and this will make your life much easier uh, in the initial days at least so <clears throat> i know first thing is to search for accommodation but apart from the accommodation these three things will be crucial so number one is you should uh, take a pps appointment taking a pps appointment pps appointment so you see this pps without this pps number uh, you will not be uh, getting scholarship or you will not be i mean i mean university or your employer will not be able to pay to you if you do not have this pps number so it's pps number and appointment so you have to create an uh, account with my gov id or let's say if you are in dublin so pps office address pps office address so yeah so if you go to this website so what i searched i searched i don't know which county you will arrive right so you should search pps office addresses and depending on your county you will get all the addresses uh, in your uh, to to get the pps number so for example if you come to dublin then these are the offices address you have to go and uh, you have to uh, first you have to open an account with www.gov.ie and uh, you should get a pps appointment after creating that appointment so in dublin this is um, this is for galway this is for kerry and so on so each county they have different sort of office and you can i think only for dublin you have to apply for online but rest of the other counties uh, you can just phone them and they will phone or email them i think better is to call call them and you can uh, get an appointment uh, to get a pps number okay so yeah for example uh, i am right now in sligo so uh, i called them and you can, i can get an pps appointment so that's it so the first thing you should do is to get a pps number personal public service number okay without this you will not be given salary or scholarship from your uh, organization next is you should uh, immediately uh, <coughs> next you should immediately book an appointment with bank so the most popular bank in ireland is aib bank appointment to open an account okay so i think uh, let's say you are in county uh, sligo where i live right now so you should search in google aib bank near me okay and for example you see i live in sligo and this is the nearest bank google is showing me okay so wherever you come to ireland you just search like this aib bank near me and then you go to that bank and you should go with an id for example passport as an indian pakistani or bangladeshi because recently one of my friend uh, went to aib sligo and he didn't bring his passport and his up he was not given appointment so he has to he had to go again to his home to bring the passport and then they gave an account appointment so uh, generally uh, you, they give appointment and date and time 
based on that date appointment and date uh, date and time you have to come to the bank with all your uh, documents the main thing is you have to bring a proof of address okay and uh, if you are a phd student then you have to uh, bring the offer letter from the university if you are a postdoc student then postdoc scholar researcher then you have to bring the work permit document or the hosting agreement to open a bank account and if you are worker then your employment contract and so on uh, to open a bank account and your passport and some id uh, yeah so these are the two things and next is you the next third thing is uh, immigration immigration uh, uh, police station so you have to search uh, gnib card appointment and uh, addresses ireland if you are in dublin then you have to do you have to take appointment in this uh, office you have to send an email and phone number to take the appointment uh, again please call free uh, phone this number uh for dublin all the all the people who are coming to dublin this but if you are coming outside um, dublin if you are staying outside dublin then uh, for example immigration in sligo then uh, then uh, you have to go to the nearest police station so there is a police station they call garda station okay so you just go to that nearest police station and you will be uh given uh, you will be uh, given an appointment to come to that uh, police station again with your documents and they will give you the residence permit card okay so immigration so immigration gnib right so whichever county you are in let's say um, you are in county county let's say mayo then immigration uh, sorry immigration uh, office in county mayo okay you search it and you will definitely get some sort of uh, uh, address of the police station you will be uh, yeah so renew your card your local guard the station so basically you have to go to the local guard the station or the local police station and to uh, to do the immigration yeah so you see here is a uh, address uh, let's say you are in donegal then these are the office you can call them uh and you can call them and you can uh uh get the immigration uh information where you have to go there are a lot of police station in donegal so i think one or two of them will have for example if i am in sligo uh county sligo yeah sligo and letrim so yeah so not all the police station has the immigration facility only one of them so yeah for example this is the yeah this is the headquarter uh, of the police station in sligo at trim and you have to go here for the immigration so what i wanted to say is that uh, call your local police station and ask if they are going to do your immigration if not then they'll definitely i'm 100% sure they definitely give you the address of the nearest police station where you have to go to register your immigration and so on to get your gnib card residential permit card and that is very very important uh, things to do thank you this three things so number one is pps number two is a uh, bank account and so number one is taking an appointment with pps office number two is taking an appointment with uh, bank aib bank or whichever bank you prefer and number three is uh, and now uh, taking appointment with uh, police station to do your immigration